Trish faces the challenge in this installment of whether or not trust is a big element of this movie. Whether or not to trust David, the new antagonist, whether or not to trust Four, her beloved, whether or not to trust her instincts in going beyond the wall, whether or not to trust the Bureau. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stakes at play when it comes to Chicago and it, the integrity of it staying together because it looks like there's another another civil war that might break out, and so Tris really has to choose where she like which basket she chooses to place her eggs in. Well, this installment you see uh, Tris and Four kind of go in separate directions. They they. They disagree with something uh, fundamentally and they, and they take different paths and, and as a result you get to see a kind of wider scope of, of the movie um, because you're kind of covering two angles and two perspectives. Um, also, you know, the third movie, you, Robert was very ambitious with it and he wanted to take it to a new level. So beyond the wall, it's a complex uh, system that, that, that we, we learn about through the course of the characters. We don't know too much about it, and that's what's so exciting. Um, Tris and Four, when they leave Chicago and they get to the Bureau, they're figuring out the way that this new government runs. They're figuring out who the leader is and how much power that leader has and what the ultimate goal of this leadership regime, or of the um, leader's regime is. And Four is able to witness different aspects of the civilization, and Tris is able to witness different aspects. Unfortunately, they have a hard time communicating those two things to one another, but I think one of the biggest challenges for them is just simply interpreting what this world is to them and what it looks like and how it can help Chicago. Well, it was interesting with Jeff because he, you know, there, there's a lot of powerful, great uh, female energy, you know, from, um, uh, you know, Kate Winslet and Naomi Watts and, of course, Shay. Um, so it was interesting to have a kind of male energy in the, in the kind of bad guy role um, because, you know, it's, it's different. Um, and uh, it was something different to play off. And that's always good because we've already, we, we, you know, we, this is the third movie to do. Um, and, you know, he's very, uh, he, he's very analytical and I kind of like that because it's, because it's intelligent but then kind of dangerous at the same time. So according to David, Tris is genetically pure, uh, meaning that she doesn't have any mutations from past genetic altering, um, from genetic altering in her past, like in her family line. And Four has some mutations from genetic engineering in his genetic history. And so what that does, for Tris, Tris doesn't see it as any problem that Four is quote unquote damaged, but Four sees it that maybe he's not worthy because he's not considered pure. And I think that that plays into his own self-confidence and his own self-assurance, and that creates a rift between the two of them. Yeah, I think he grew up in a system where he was, uh, he didn't believe in the system from, from the get-go, um, and he was, you know, suffered at the hands of a, a violent father and suffered at the hands of a kind of, unequal system so going into this new system where it kind of classes people between damaged and purity he, he's extremely uh, untrusting of it and, and cynical and that's kind of the crux of the argument between him and, and Triss uh, they believe in inherently different things and as a result they go their different ways it's so wonderful and lovely and comfortable and safe and you feel like you're at summer camp in a way, especially because you're. We're all in a different state. We're in Atlanta. We're not in Los Angeles or New York or London. Everybody's out of their homes and placed together once more, and it feels like you're just playing for a few months. Yeah, I think Ford just doesn't believe in the construct. I mean, he thinks it's dangerous, and I think he thinks it's an abuse of power. Um, so, and 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 Tris is wooed by this very charismatic leader in the in the form of Jeff Daniels, and she feels like finally she's, I mean, she's misled, but she feels like finally she's found home. Yeah. 
it was amazing working with Jeff. Jeff's really professional. He um, is passionate about acting, and he's open to the opinions of other people and was really game for trying new things and wanted to make sure that um, that the takes and the scenes were as good as they possibly could be. I think they can expect a continuation of the story of, of Tristan 4 and an and, and ambitious kind of uh, action epic that takes the story to new levels. There's a lot of new technology in this film that we haven't seen in the other films. So I think audiences will be excited to see the new aircrafts, the new weaponry, the new ways in which this future world functions. James Bond fans, did you know that Skyfall is the only Bond movie ever made by an Oscar-winning director? Hmm, now that's interesting. Want more movie facts? Click on more videos. Or for the latest trailers? Click on the playlist.